What's good guys, welcome back. Um, so same day for me, but it'll probably be a week or so's time for you if you just watched part one. This is part two of the cannabis farm with the joint in we're doing. So um, yeah, we're gonna start actually doing the joint now. Hopefully we get that done and left to set and then we can put the other end away. UKPN still haven't turned up to isolate the panel. So if they don't turn up, then we won't be doing anything that end. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get the joint done, um, start prepping it now. We did um, start the first cable, but we didn't have the second cable in to put onto it so we're going to prep that now and um, show you the process of doing a joint and how we go about that so yeah as always guys whatever you're watching it on youtube insta uh, make sure you're following subscribed and all that stuff uh, smash the like button as well really supports what i'm trying to do let's get to it right now, I think fine. yeah so I just support it here with this. Yeah, just make it off there. I know we should be able to manipulate the cores a little bit more. We might have to get off. There we go, that's a bit better. Right, so got a hacksaw. Was it over here? So, basically, gonna go like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, we can cut the cord down. Right, let's get a brick. Get a brick. Yeah, just to... Uh, And again. Bodinen's Junior's definitely next on the list, man. You seen the teeth on it? It's mad. It's like a Rambo knife. That's all the steel's cut back. Um, so now we want to set a couple of tie ups here to mark what we're going to do. We're not going to cut this out yet because we want to keep it as formed as possible. And then we'll strip the inner and start offsetting them all, ready to be jointed. Lunch break. Right, that looks proper Fisher Price, that knife, but it's all right, isn't it? Right. Right. Got this. Oh. Nice one, mate. Just uh, chuck it on top of there, buddy. Thank you. Good soup style. Yeah, I appreciate that, mate. Curved 
<laughs> Sweet. Lunch time. While he goes through that. This is what the local shop had on offer. Structure a bit round there, and that's not. Well, we'll just, we'll just tape it up and then stop sort of pissing out the end of it. To be fair, that's spot on, isn't it? Yeah. Just move that brick in a sec. Red, yellow, blue, brown, black, grey. So that's a bit of a brown, red, yellow, blue, brown, black, grey. So this is completely an orientation. But always a fucking way, isn't it? Yeah. So the easiest thing to do is work from one end, cut it, put your lug on. Cut this, put it in, crank up the lug. Yeah. Which means... Double up in the middle, where you got the most room. Yeah, double up in the middle. Just wet that bag in the middle. Yeah. you done all right, mate. Cheese and, tuna and onion. And some cheese and onion crisps, just in case I went onioned out. <laughs> You'll see, you'll see those, yeah. You'll see the right. They might be like a bit of onion. Yeah. Fair, fair play for coming down here, man. Yeah. Hold up. So, with these joints, um, they say that you should have four of them in a row, um, but it's always good to stagger them because then, like I say, then you haven't got one right at the end and um, that one's dropped down. But let's get it out. Um, stagger the two middle ones and then have the, the two outer ones separated um, it just gives you a little bit more wiggle room because if you have all four of them in a row you're literally end to end um, on the joint so yeah we're gonna we're gonna stagger them all and then it'll just be a bit thicker in the middle but obviously that's where the most space is so yeah we'll just start marking these up now so center there yeah Look at the water running out of the cable. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So if you're you're there, then you'll want to be say there. Yeah.
so we're well aware you wouldn't generally cut cables with a grinder um, but we're out of jigsaw blades um, I can try these shears but I think they're pretty dull from the last time we used them so Nipex do a nicer set of these but we'll give these a go um, for the next ones but So these connectors um, have these in them and basically they slide in, you bolt them down and then these nuts are just shear offs. So as soon as they get to a certain certain torque, they'll just snap off obviously when they're fully done up. So we're gonna do most of it with this. It's just got a half inch adapter in the end. Right, so we've just got the first side on. As you can see, the shear offs have just popped off there. So we're gonna do this for all of these cores. Then we'll lay it in the carcass. We'll get this one lined up, offset these all the same, ready to be put onto these, get these bolted up, and then it's um, doing the strap in and getting the resin in. Put that in there. Borderlands do a set of wedges, exactly flat, like insulated wedges. They do everything, mate. Yeah. yeah. So what they do is quite cool, is um, a set of three like, bits of plastic that you know when you pull the fuse in a house or whatever, oh. and it clips into the, into the fuse holder so that you haven't got the exposed, do you know what I mean? Just the, the supply from the road, um, all exposed. So that's quite a good idea. But... Sweet. Yeah. Uh, yep. Whoa. Well, just want to make sure there's no good f***ing snap off. So yeah, yeah. You can't fit this f on. So it's worth going. Yeah. The next one, ready, bro. So all the ones you've done, have they had um, crimps? No, brass. Oh. Same as this. Brass, yeah, but yeah. Alan Keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, sweet. Yep. I think I'll throw you at a better angle. Don't lacerate me. <laughs> I'll take my fing arm off. Woo! <laughs> 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 
She can need a sharpen after today, ain't she? Yeah. Tell you what, the Fisher Price handle makes it easy to work with, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you just touch them together like that, don't you? <laughs> no, all you do is tape them up. Mm -hmm. Once you get it all in the join, you get a bit of cardboard or something called plastic. Yeah. You shove it in there. Fit that will do well, won't it? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yes, mm. it's not in the fucking manual, but. No. None of this shit is, mate. I'll tell you what, that stuff goes off hard than concrete. Yeah. So, no one's ever going to see your ropey fucking join. No. Unless you're that guy, and then everyone's seen your ropey join. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's real, like, footage, do you know what I mean? It's not fucking... We're in a fucking trench while it's filling up with water, covered in do you know what I mean? Yeah, we might pop, want to pump that shit out. I'm going to be going swimming soon. <sighs> Sweet. Right. Ugh. Right, so that's your, that's your end and that's your sleeve. Okay, cool. Don't be in my f***ing it. You put your head near it. The other one is. Up there. You don't want it sat in the fucking puddle, do you? Well, it's in my little fucking fixing spots, isn't it? Alright. Go on. Where's the fucking Doody. Fisher Price? Is this flashing red? Yeah. Yeah, we might be a little bit on the long side on that one. This is gonna be What do you want out of the way? So basically, that's gonna have to come. Swap, right, so. Right, so, it's not that one that I'm talking about. Oh, you're worried about grey? I'm worried about the fucking grey, but short as f Fuck that off. Yeah. Right. right, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Yeah? Yep, yep, yep. Let's get a grey cut. Yeah. And then we'll f around getting them two in. Because this has got this one's got to come up like that. Yeah, and then down again, yeah. So grey is there. So it's about there. So you just want to make sure that that's gonna sit out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Let's get that one in. I think it'll make life easier. <sighs> Go a bit more because yeah, certain angle sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll put And do it from that side. <laughs> Go blue first, I'd say. Because we had we've had him in before. Okay. Well, 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 back. back. Oh, 
there's a big flathead there. Why don't you tap the cores in that I've popped out? Big Betty always delivers, look. Oh, I tell you what, E, I'll go for blue as well, man. Right, keep her steady, then. Yeah. Remember the lugs? Yep, 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 let me just get the fuck in. You got your cores all twisted, didn't you? <laughs> you might need to get that screwdriver under it. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> yeah? Happy? More. More. Ah. Do you know what it is? What? Grey's too long, bro, I think. It's grey touching. What? It's grey touching the other core inside. No? Grey's not that long. No, but it's not butting up against the other... No, it's not cut the sheep in all enough. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not me. I've cut the sheep in off. Hitting the sheath in. Yeah, you can get the sheath in, in the lug, but. That's what we're fighting against. That's it. I was blue. Blue's in far enough. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see when you shot. So by the time you're laid flat, I said about there. Mm -hmm. And then inner, you always better to go a bit more, innit? Cool. Right, grinder is in the tool bag. Round four. I've got 59 minutes of footage left, and then I'm out. Be having a beer later, I know that much. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get that vice up to that my head. Probably because it's been on all day. <laughs> 30 times. Oh yeah! Sweet.
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 So all the joints have been made as you've seen. We've just stripped some of the inner insulation and just wrapped it around the uh, joiners. It's not necessary. A lot of people say it looks crap, but it's just an extra measure we like to do just to give it that extra layer um, while you're joining it and stopping these digging in where they shouldn't do and stuff like that. Um, but it's not a necessary step, but yeah, I'll get killed in the comments for it, no doubt. So now we're just gonna completely uh, wrap it in insulation the whole lot and um, we're going to go thick around um in between each joiner we'll do a thicker layer um again just uh to just give it as much chance as it as it can obviously it's going to be completely covered in resin anyway so you know we try not to worry too much about it but yeah once that's all taped up we'll get the cases ready um and we'll start doing the resin So this is completely taped up now, um, just completely encased the whole lot in insulation tape. So now we're going to cut our tie wraps and um, this is what I was saying before where we've been manipulating um, all of this. These are just like bands that go around so they don't actually pull these tight. So you don't want to strip these until the very end really because where you manipulate the cable and stuff you have all these steels fraying out. So yeah we're going to strip them back how much we need, it's about 20 mil. Um, and then yeah do the same the other side we'll get the bands round which are these um, so they just sort of crawl round similar to sort of um, HV joining any sort of cable joining really but um, yeah that'll get wrapped round this is your strap in that gets tied round that um, and then yeah it gets wrapped round there and then the resin sort of seals it all in place side to side like that yeah So as you can see, um, we've got the earth straps running down and then, yeah, got the, uh, the bands round now. It's just good to fold them over, just make sure they're in there nice and tight then. Same that end. So now it's ready for casing and uh, resin. So yeah, we'll do that now. Right, so I think it wants to go to you a little bit because I've got about 40 mil here. I think at the beginning of the video or last video, 
I said it was 2185, so it turns out there's a bit of confusion. That existing cable is actually a 240. So um, it doesn't matter because we the, the kit we got, we made sure it was compatible to go from 240 to 180, 185, sorry. Um, and the MCCB is rated accordingly. Um, it can actually be down rated and it's not, they're not using it to full capacity that end anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd clear that up before I have people correcting it in the comments or anything like that. But yeah, um, luckily all the lugs fitted and stuff like that, but we did try them out beforehand. Otherwise we would have to go up to Gloucester to get some different ones. So yeah, we'll um, go back to the resin joint now. Right, so casing's on. Uh, we're just taking up the end to stop the resin coming out. We've got it pretty level, probably has to go up a little bit this end. Um, we had to take these end of these shear offs off, just cut and flush, because they were kicking out the casing. Um, I know I'll get loads of comments about it, but if you've ever done one of these this size, they never go right. There's always something going on. You're always hitting it with a hammer or knocking stuff in or cutting the lugs off, do you know what I mean? So yeah, <laughs> they never go exactly how you want them to. It looks very easy to do. Um, on paper the instructions make it look really easy but when you're in the real world working with real cabling and stuff like that it's just not quite that simple so yeah um so that's just been like i say taken off there just to give us a bit of room this is just about on we're going to put a couple of bands around here just to help the case in and then um yeah we'll get the resin knocked up and start putting it in yeah uh, this guy Cool, that way. You ain't gonna get rid of that though, are you? That's probably just the uh, casing as well, isn't it? All right, sweet. Let's go knock some resin up. So he's just getting the resin unpacked. Um, it comes in these like jewel bags. So you basically slide this bar out and then it, um, you remove this plastic, slide this bar out and then the, the, the compounds will start to mix together. It takes about 10 minutes. We was always taught to roll it over your knee just to help the mixing process. Um, so yeah, we'll probably have one of us mixing, one of us pouring. Um, one thing to stress with this stuff, it comes with rubber gloves, use them. If you get this stuff on your hands, it doesn't come off. It's an absolute nightmare. It's also an irritant. Um, it's horrible stuff, but yeah, even just trying to get it off your hands, <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. So I'm gonna probably mix up the first one to show you and then um, I'll do the pouring and Ian will just keep feeding me bags and that way you get to see it all go in but yeah we'll start with this one little bit like icing a cake but just with a hole in the ground outside
So it's been about five minutes. We'll just go see, um, see how it's getting on. Sort of, um, yeah, it's looking sweet to be honest with you. No leaks as well, which is good. Um, especially considering we've got two different size cables um, getting joined together, so yeah. Um, we're gonna just chill out while this seals and we're just gonna see what we're gonna do about this other end, whether it's worth um, worth uh, getting this in or not, um, depending on time. UKPN still haven't turned up, so yeah, it's not looking hopeful, but we'll, um, if they do turn up or they're gonna turn up soon, we'll just ring the office, find out what's going on, and then maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't, but yeah, I'll catch you in a sec. Casualty of Warlet. Just talk about these boots quickly, actually. So, Ambler Safety sent me these out. Um, they are waterproof completely, and they would have been perfect for today. But um, wellies, 100% when you're working like that. Obviously, benefit a bit of rubber courage on your feet, but you know everything was isolated. It had been spiked and all sorts, so they weren't necessary. But yeah, um, just that bit of extra confidence. Same with when we was cutting out, um, cutting out. I had the old Boddington's uh, hacksaw. I had the arc gloves and some uh, marigolds gauntlets on underneath as well. Um, it's in our rams anyway, so, but um, it was just, yeah, to be honest, it's just a bit of rubber courage when you're, when you're cutting through that stuff first time. Um, but yeah, it had been spiked over there. Um, literally just that other side of where we cut it, it had been spiked. Um, that's just setting off now. It's probably got another half an hour or so. Um, so yeah, we're gonna leave this like this. They can backfill in. We'll probably keep all of this stuff in here, to be honest with you. Um, the, you know, it supports the cable and stuff like that until they get a bit more soil and stuff like that. It's all clay in here. As you can see, the water table's just against it. It's trickling out there. Um, obviously part of the operation involved um, them tapping into a water main sort of over there. Um, so maybe that's why that's leaking. It's running under the concrete or something. Either that or it's just a water table, as you can see there's a lot of high ground around it it's clay so you know there's going to be clay all under this it's just going to be running down but yeah we're just waiting to hear back from UKPN um, whether they're coming they sort of forgot about us apparently that's what they said anyway but it was hard enough to get them agree it was hard enough to get them to agree to come out and now they're saying they forgot us all day so you know it's it's funny isn't it but um yeah so hopefully they come out it's about half three though so it's getting on it's getting late um, so ideally they don't turn up <laughs> um, but if they do then yeah we're gonna get a gland on this get it ready we're gonna have to sweep in the side of this panel um, just because um, this side's completely busy this side's got a massive hole in it and from about here onwards it's just Paxlin there is no glanding plate um, so we don't want to gland into that we want to gland into metal um, and there is a gland there already, I think I mentioned in the other video. So yeah, we're gonna have to swoop it out for now and just leave it long enough to be tidied up after. It is a bit of an emergency situation. UKPN have just come, gutted all the non-compliances, gutted the grow sort of cabling and stuff. But that's left this building here with no power. So they're desperate to get this back on, even if it's a temporary measure, just to carry on operating really. So yeah, we're gonna see how we go with that. But if not, um, then we'll just have to come back tomorrow uh, once UKPN do what we need him to do. So, yeah. So, just gonna beat this. That's gonna let Ian know that we're ready to short out between L3 and Earth. Point two one. So that's our R1, R2. Um, I'm now just going to do some insulation resistance tests now that Ian's out of the way, the other end. I'll just go check that he's out of the way. Um, got the cover on. I'll do some insulation resistance tests just to prove that it's whole. Um, and then, um, yeah, we're going to pack up and get out of here. So, yeah. All right, so now we're just going to do some insulation resistance just to prove it's all sweet. Go between everything. Cool. Cool. Right, and earth. Uh, 
477 just a little bit but nothing to worry about So we did get 477. Um, the resin's not quite gone off yet, but I think it's more likely um, when we was making it off, there was a bit of water running through the cable. Um, so yeah, obviously that's an existing cable, nothing to do with us. So um, we're not even living it up. So um, yeah, pretty happy that I would look into it further if it was a lot lower, but it's almost at 500 anyway. So yeah, we're gonna chuck that cable in there, pack up the rest of our stuff. Ian's just packing his bits away, um, gonna load up the van, and then um, yeah, that is us done. We're gonna be Ian's gonna be back tomorrow, I'm off tomorrow to get that glanded into that panel. Hopefully, UKPN turn up. Um, if they don't, then more drama, but they haven't turned up thus far today. Um, we've been chasing them all day, but they're sort of a lot to themselves, aren't they? So, yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, whatever you're watching on YouTube, Insta, make sure you're followed, make sure you're subscribed. It really supports what I'm trying to do. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.